Sorry it took so long. My mom had to talk to me. That's okay. Just tell me how do I look? Ooh, muy bonita. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. But I still don't think you should go to the party at the Seascape tonight. Oh. I mean, haven't you ever heard of the fickle finger of fate? You're the only fickle thing around here, Whitney Russell. You're supposed to be telling me that everything's going to work out tonight. <laughs> Hello? Teresa, this is Gwen. Oh, hi, Gwen. I was just calling to make sure you were still planning on coming tonight. Ethan and I just can't wait to meet your boyfriend. Don't worry. I'm getting ready right now. Wonderful. See you soon, then. Okay, she's definitely on to you. Well, I guess you can't go tonight, huh? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Because when the clock strikes midnight, I'm going to be in Ethan's arms. You're going to be lucky if you've got arms by midnight. We wake up, Teresa Gwen is out for blood. Now I know what drop dead gorgeous means. Really? I had this dress made in New York last month. I have an idea. What if we skip this party at the seascape tonight? And do what? Elope. I'll fuel up the jet right now and we can be married in Bermuda at midnight. Ethan, that's the most romantic idea I've ever heard. Then you'll do it? You'll marry me tonight? Ethan, I want to. I want to, but... You have to understand, it's very important to me that you realize that I'm not imagining Teresa's obsession with you. I told you the other day I believed you. You were just trying to make me feel better. Ethan, you have to see that I've been right with your own eyes. I just wish that you could drop it. But if you can't, you know, I'll do whatever it takes. Believe me, as soon as Teresa admits that you were the man she's in love with... Or proves she isn't when she shows up with her boyfriend... We can get married as soon as possible. And what are we waiting for? Let's go. Mark my words, Ethan. Teresa's gonna show up to this party alone. Mm -hmm.